expected because we still have a reasonably dry and stable atmosphere around us. So we don't have anything that's really going to give us any kind of rain formation for the time being. High pressure centered just off of the Sun Coast, moving right over the peninsula. So that's helping to promote more of a south wind pattern for us into tonight and tomorrow. But the center of that high is close enough to where we will have some calm periods overnight and not a lot of wind or air motion. So that helps to make that fog form first in maybe some low lying pockets near water and then perhaps spreading more across our interior sections through the rest of the morning. But in the forecast and focus, the southeast to south wind pattern stays in place for tomorrow. It's not going to be oppressively muggy, but you may notice that it's not quite as arid, not quite as dry as it has been. It may be a little more tolerable on dry skin, but it doesn't look like we'll have anything that's going to promote any kind of major uh, weather nuisances except for the dense fog. The visibilities may be the lowest around the US 19 corridor and surrounding counties in the eastern Big Bend, perhaps around US 84 and Interstate 10 as well. So just be aware of what's happening. Reed will keep you informed in the morning. If you watch sunrise, he'll be tracking that fog layer all morning long. And again, the expectation that some areas can have visibilities dropping below one quarter mile, and that can be a little hazardous. Morning lows, lower 40s once again, fairly close to average. And then tomorrow, right back where we were today in most cases, right around 70 degrees. In fact, the 70s will stay in the first alert forecast through the weekend, but rain chances will be increasing as well. Saturday, not a big concern. It's looking like the driest day, and even Sunday's 40%, maybe just focused across some of our western counties in the Lake Seminole region. However, another system zips through on Monday. That's going to pull in our next tap of cold air. So we drop back towards the 40s. Morning daytime highs will stay mostly in the lower 60s. And yet another front by the middle of next week just keeps these cool waves coming our way. We'll be back 